We all know Spotfire is great for visualizing data and understanding complex relationships. But did you also know that you can perform fast, code-free data wrangling without needing to know any programming language? Today, I want to show you how we can remove duplicates without using any code. I have a dataset with some order details where the unique identifier is order ID. Now I can go in data analysis flyout, select order ID and go on details on selected column. This has been categorized as identifier, so I can actually compare rows in data table versus unique values in the column. We know that order ID should be unique. This proves that we have 24 duplicates here. Let's go to data canvas and click on a plus button. I'll add a transformation and from a drop down menu I'll select pivot. The pivot transformation has a very powerful feature, the ability to select row identifiers. This means that the columns I choose as row identifiers must be unique and Spotfire will automatically remove any exact duplicates. So I'll go ahead and select all of my columns. I will leave the rest of the options empty. As you can see, I now have only 2000 rows, which means that 24 rows have been excluded. I will go back to my table visualization, go in data and analysis flyout, and also double check order ID. I can see that I have 2000 unique values in this column and 2000 rows in the data table. That's great. But you might be wondering, what if you want to look for duplicates in only a specific set of columns, not the entire table? For example, customer ID and order ID. Let's return to the data canvas and edit the pivot transformation. I'll remove all the columns from the row identifier field leaving only customer ID and order ID. I will add the remaining columns as value with aggregation methods. Now, be careful with the aggregation method you choose. Personally, I prefer to use first. This returns the first value encountered in a group or category of data. Also, keep in mind that you can apply different aggregation methods depending on the business rules. I will also change the naming pattern to percentage %V. This will keep the initial column names. Percentage %M would include the method applied within the column name. And that's it. As you can see, we still have 2000 rows. We can go back to our table visualization, data analysis flyout, order ID, and verify that unique values in a column are equal to rows in data table. And that's how you remove duplicates without using any code. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video when I will show you how you can remove duplicates using custom expressions.